Hi, my name is Dr. Lord King and today I'm going to talk about the Genius Multiplication Table. The Genius Multiplication Table is a table that I invented and it allows you to do from simple to complex multiplication problems in just one line. And to facilitate that process, we are going to use a special notebook that's called the Fractal Greeting Notepad. And it's a book that my daughter and I co-wrote and it will help you to do one line multiplication as well as many other things. So I shall take you through the Fractal Greeting Notepad until we get to the section where we can focus on genius multiplication. So this is the notepad. Um, the first page talks about fractal grading, which is um, the process that we generally use. And when you go through, it also takes you to how you can use it. So there are notes there. And, and also, it gives examples, and the main focus is organizing your life space, but you can use that also to do several other things. And one of our beliefs is that genius innovation and polymathism thinking can be learned as well as taught, and genius multiplication is a part of polymathic thinking. So these are what blank pages of the fractal grading notepad looks like. So it's a spread page and there are two levels. At the top level is a blank tic-tac-toe board and the bottom level can be regarded as level two, which is like a blank Sudoku board. This is just a brief explanation and this is what goes through the book, but with genius multiplication, you can use these as worksheets to actually practice. And as I said before, it goes beyond just genius multiplication, but in this video, we are focusing on genius multiplication. So, this is an overview of genius multiplication, and it differs from the traditional multiplication table. Um, we call this the multiplication table fractal grid, and it consists of three belts. So you have the green belt, the white belt, and the blue belt. And each 3x3 three three chunk is called a planet. So in the green belt, you have three planets. This is the northwest planet, north planet, and this is the northeast planet, this is the south planet, and so on. So um, it's a multiplication table, but unlike the traditional multiplication table, this table is infinite. For example, if you want to do like 2 times 3, you, you have 2 times 3 and you have 6. Um, 5 times 7 would be 35. But you can also use it beyond that. And that's the purpose that we are going to talk about. So if you want to practice genius multiplication, you have to use the fractal grid in notepad. And I shall show you how to do that and um, rather than memorize math facts you are playing game to be familiar with math facts you only need six math facts in order to master genius multiplication so we shall go through these so these are the math facts that you need you need to, to know how to count to one two three and counting twos which is called skip counting Two, four, six, and rather than memorize the whole table, we are focusing on the northwestern planet, which which is just this three by three grid here. And as and for students, you will be required to ask them to just complete this. So they will be completing and filling out the multiplication table by chunks. So the first one, um, one, two, three, and the same relationship exists vertically so this would be three you have two four and horizontally you have two four six 
So one can figure that out as 6, or you can count in 2s, 2, 4, 6, which is a math fact that you need to know. The other one to complete is this one, and you can count in 3s. So 3, 6, and this would be 9. If this were a traditional multiplication table, you will be told that you, you can only learn 1 times, 2 times, and 3 times. But with um, the genius multiplication method, you can focus on all the multiplication um, problems that you can do in this block. So let's consider the 12 times table for that northwestern planet. We can do, for example, 1 times 12. We can also do 2 times 12. And we can do 3 times 12. If you are doing 1 times 12, it's already in the table. So 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. And you can see that it goes like 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 times 12 is 24. And you can put 3 times 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's how you can do your 12 times table just from this planet here. We can also do the 13 times table, and you can see the same logic. 13 would be defined by these two. So 1 times 13 would be 13, 2 times 13 would be 26, and 3 times 13 would be 39. So this is what I mean when I say that you are dealing with an infinite table. We can also consider a 23 times table. So 1 times 23, 2 times 23, and 3 times 23. So 1 times 23 would give us 23, as we see here. Or you can do it 2 times 23, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 23 would be 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So you can do it this way just in one line, or you can look at the multiplication table and also do that. It can also extend to 123 times table. It's all in that northwestern planet. So 123 times table. 1 times 123 would be... 1, 2, 3, 2 times 123 would be 2, 4, 6, and 3 times 123 would be 3, 6, 9. You can also do like 32 times table. Thirty two times table, you would need these two. 32 times 1 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64, and 33 times 3 is 69. So um, you can do all of those multiplications and they don't need to be in sequence. And this is the, spe the special part of the genius multiplication. Y you do not have to do your multiplication in sequence. You can also do something like 12 times 12. And this is where a multiplication pattern comes in that is referred to as hip hop multiplication. And I shall explain how you do that. So if you have to do 12 times 12, it means that um, you are moving, you are using more than two digits. And for that, what we do, we consider this as if it were a single digit and multiply 12 times 1, and that would give us 12. And 12 times 2, that would give us 24. And what you do is to consider this as a single block, and you do what I call hip, and for the next digit you do hop. So 12 plus 2, that's um, 14, and then you do the hop and you write 4. You can do the same if you have 23 times 12. So 23 times 1 would be 23. 23 times 2 would be 46. And then you do your hip hop multiplication pattern. So this becomes like a single number. 
So 23 plus 4 gives you 27, and then you hop, and then you do 6. So this is what is involved in genius multiplication, and you can consider um, the skip counting game or the hip hop game, and there's a third one which is called the zigzag game. But in the meantime, you can complete these planets um, by doing this same exercise. And to get you started, if you're doing skip counting, this would be four, five, six, and in twos, this would be eight, 10, 12. So just repeat the same things as we have done before to complete this planet and do several combinations of multiplication and you'll be on the way to doing one line multiplication in your head. Thank you very much. And again, this is Dr. God King. If you want to practice genius multiplication, you can get the fractal greedy notepad, which uh, my daughter and I wrote and is available on Amazon. Thank you very much.